Welcome back, gang. If I did my videos in order, the last one should have been me repairing this old garage, fixing the roof that is sagging. And now I want to go into a little more detail on how to take these old doors down. Mostly um, relieving the tension on the torsion spring. A lot of people don't necessarily know how to do it without things going crazy. Um, so I'll show you how to do how I do it real quick. This isn't, don't like saying how to because, you know, I'm barely a carpenter. <laughs> Torsion springs get wound and then bolted up to stay in place. Then that puts the tension on the pulley. Cable goes all the way down to the bottom of the door and then that helps to be the counterweight to lift it. So when you're taking tension off of it, it wants to open back up. If you can see it's coiled this way, it's going to want to spin that way. They have these holes right here that you use. You put something in to stop it from moving that far. And a lot of times you can let you can use two different things and let them work their way back. I have another screwdriver with me, so if I can set you up here somewhere, I will take the tension off of these bolts. Now these screw all the way in, so I can take these all the way out. Some are different, some only have set screws. These actually thread into holes in the shaft here that the spring is attached to. You gotta be careful about it. I've done these before. This one doesn't have too much tension on it, it doesn't feel like. So right now, this is all on me. It's wanting to take off that way. So I can let it go to there. I have another screwdriver. See what I'm doing? It's just walking it back. There we go. That one's all loose. Get that one off next. Once you can feel that you can move it by hand, you know you've let enough torsion out of it. You can kind of walk it back. It disconnects the opener. You just start taking the panels apart. That's the easy part. Okay, when you're dealing with old garage doors, they seem to always be a square style nut that they used. So you run into a little bit of a problem. This is a 7 16th nut. You can see my 7 16th wrench fits on there. But a 7 16th six point does not. Now they do make eight point sockets, but those are kind of rare to find in a kit. But in my crescent kit that I use, 13 mil 12 point works. 
So if you've got an extensive enough kit, um, you can usually find something that works. So that's what I will be using to take this. And of course they've got stupid flathead screws. But all I should have to do is get the bracket removed from one panel, and then we can jockey the panel and, and slide the, the rollers out. There's a cotter pin right here. Pull this out, I think. Now I can remove the door from the bracket. It was a little unconventional, but I just walked it out of the back of the track. So this cable was pinned in here and it didn't really want to come apart without taking the bracket off, which is normally how they all are, but they all seem to be a little different. Since nothing here is being saved, I just took the uh, nuts off the bolts, beat the thing apart. are attached. I am going to a 15 mil 12 point socket works on all these so I'm going to throw it in my impact. I'm just going to blow these tracks off with the, spr the springs and everything. Okay, door's out. It's in a pile around the corner. This one's going next. Um, there's not much to it. It's just the, the weird things are the, uh, the square nuts. Um, like I said, if you have an eight point socket, that will work. Or you find a 12 point of a close measurement and you, you can make those work. Um, but that was it, just wanted to show you guys that. Mostly wanted to show you how to release the tension on the torsion springs without them going flying because you just got to do it uh, easily and methodically so no one gets hurt. Throw a comment down below if you've got a better way of doing this or you know I did something wrong or if I did something right. Rarely. Uh, and if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you would. Hit the bell notification and it'll let you know next time I'm taking something apart or putting something together. And I will see you guys on the next one.